Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody, to a brand new game called Salt. This is something put out by Lava Boot Studio. Nice gentleman named Will uh, hooked me up with this one, so I said, let's give it a try. Let's push pixels around the screen as pirates on a island adventure. Um, so we'll go and plug my name in here real quick, and we're going to give this a try, see what I think about gameplay and about the whole experience in general. All right, so here we are on, uh, looks like an island of sorts, and um, I'm trying to get the controls down here real quick. Looks uh, pretty much the same here as like a Minecraft control. Yeah, everything's kind of syncs up with that, so that's a different positive, easy to uh, control for sure. And uh, appears we're kind of on an abandoned island here. I don't see much else happening, but um, we do have some water down here. Let's go check this out. A uh, rock or something, a walnut. It's not very high res, but uh, looks like that said uh, something boulder, weak boulder. So I guess we're going to have to find something to break that open with. I can't do it with my bare hands, it doesn't seem. we got our water textures. Alright, I saw a little bit of... Ah, oh, it was a smoke trail. I was wondering what it was over here. And uh, we found ourselves a camp. And it looks like someone to interact with. We'll see what happens here when I do this. Um, let's figure out which... There it is. Uh, it's, uh, you're awake, I see, it says. The mysterious figure, of course. Got a crafting journal here in my uh, inventory, it appears, and I can ask some questions. Say, who are you? It's not uh, what one says, but when one does it, it finds them, and so many questions remain. Who will you be? You might be able to make the name for yourself in this land. There's a man who keeps a number of inns through the seas, marked by a beacon. Perhaps pay him a visit if you need some direction. Okay, so there's an inn somewhere out here in the world. I have to go find that out. Um, something about a raft. The raft over there, that's not mine. You can take it. It looks like it needs repairs, though. Okay, well, that's good to know. I'll have to go search for the raft. I didn't see one. And, general speak, I wonder uh, how long you were laying there. I started to think you wouldn't make it. Man, who travel is an island these days. I rarely do I let myself be known to those who do. Lucky for you and lucky for the pirate laying by my campfire. You uh, need supplies? I suppose you can take what's in this chest over there. Okay. Well, I'm going to go grab the things off the pirate. This is the dead pirate here. Yes, the uh, graphics in this game are not uh, phenomenal, but um, as you guys might know, I don't really put as much emphasis on graphics being great as long as it's good enough. And uh, this seems like it'd be good enough as long as the gameplay is fine. Let's see if we can uh, drop this into our, our drawer here. Okay, so that's one way to equip a sword. And I look pretty naked there except for a pair of gray shorts. So I'm going to have to find some pirate clothes here at some point if I'm going to be a proper pirate. We got ourselves a golden or a green and brass key. I don't know, hopefully that's useful something. And some gloves, which seems cannot be put on my character model. But uh, I can keep them over in that little inventory under arc. I don't know if that helps or not. It says armor too, so I guess it does help, even though it's not physically on my, my character model. Uh, we have some cloth swatches and looks like some other things in here. Now this is supposed to be sort of a crafting game so you can get all these different materials and put together, I'm assuming a ship um, and probably different weapons and armor and potions. So kind of reminiscent I guess in a way of a Minecraft game but also a little bit RPG-ish so it's kind of interesting. This game does seem to have some semblance of um, multiplayer, too, though not a lot of people are playing it at the time I'm reviewing this. Uh, but there is a way to invite friends from Steam to play with you. So that's kind of a major appeal, as uh, it's not something you have to pay for. You can just play with your friends on Steam. All right, so it seems like we kind of got some of the basics here. Um, mysterious figure. Ah, here's the raft that he was talking about. Let's go down here and see what this is about. Uh, it doesn't seem like much of a raft. It's just kind of a wooden plank floating. All right, ah, we got to repair it. That's why it looks so basic. Um, we need seven logs and two cloth swatches to repair this thing. So I guess we better go exploring or figure out how to get some more wood, as we don't have quite enough. All right, so I tried chopping trees with my sword. That doesn't work. Um, it, it seems the logs are just laying around on the ground, so we just have to uh, take ourselves about the island and uh, keep our eyes peeled. And there's also other things you can pick up, like plants I found, uh, some of the different... Plants give you, like, rope material. So I grabbed that, too. So we just need one more log. Here we go. And then we can go back out and uh, repair that boat. All right, we have something else here, too. Looks like somebody left a mining pick behind. I'll take that. So maybe now we can uh, break open some of those rocks that we saw earlier that were uh, tagged as a weak boulder. Here we go. Yes, we'll crack this walnut open. And inside, not surprisingly, other stone. <laughs> We have one square stone and a piece of chiseled stone, it looks like. 
Let's see what it's actually called. Stone blocks. All right. Well, maybe we can build some sort of house out of blocks. And then we have uh, flint. So I guess that will be helpful for fires. All right. I think I have everything I need here to repair this raft. And uh, yeah, seven logs and uh, two class watches. So that should work. And we built ourselves a little uh, sailing mechanism. How could I get on this? Here we go. Board. And uh, then we have a steering uh, rudder of some sort. I guess let's go see what else we can find out here. There was not a whole lot on this first island. It's just kind of, uh, I guess, sort of a tutorial in a way. It teaches you how to pick up different things. Oh, this is fun. Uh, and we got a little bit of music now, too. All right, so this, you just kind of direct one direction. It's kind of odd as you have to uh, be face backwards to steer, but I guess I can get used to that. And then when you put the sails up, um, you just automatically have some momentum. So it doesn't seem that wind is really a thing in this game. It's just if you have your sails up, you're going to go forward. <laughs> Which I guess makes it more simple, right? It makes it work. All right, let's head to that island over there and see uh, what other things there is in this game. A little bit of time has passed, and we're getting closer to the island. I see something there on top of that hill. Um, it doesn't look like a tree, so some kind of lookout tower, perhaps? And uh, check out on the sand, too. I don't know if you're watching this on a small device, but there looks like there's a deer over there if you can't see that on your cell phone or whatever you're watching this on. So we're going to see about doing some hunting, maybe, huh? And uh, we'll see who's up on top of that hill, too. Uh, might be some enemy pirates or something. We haven't had to battle, but we do have a sword, so hopefully we will be all right without getting butchered. Now, I'm going to try not to run a short here, so I'm going to... Hopefully this will work, but I'm, I'm just kind of steering to the side here so we don't run right into the beachhead. And I guess I'll leave this out here. I hope it doesn't wash away into the ocean. But so far, it seems like it's, it's sticking around. I don't see it really moving except for the uh, the tide that's pushing it up and down. So there's quite a few islands out there, too. I see three other islands except for the one we started on. All right, here's that deer. Let's see if we can sneak up on it and uh, get us some jerky. Nope, it hears us. Oh, that's interesting. I see the tracks, so that's kind of cool. You can track your animals with the uh, the footprints. Oh, look, a log. I'm not going to catch that thing. <laughs> so I guess we'll just stop uh, futilely chasing it. Um, all right, I've got some more plant fibers and stuff. I guess we'll start uh, saving up for hopefully other crafting recipes. We need to figure out how to craft things. All right, I found a way to craft things. There's a, a guide that you get that shows you how to build a bunch of basic stuff. So tripwires, deer ride armors, all sorts of weapons, and even another boat um, beyond our simple raft. So we could start saving up for a little bit better version uh, instead of having a raft. But the raft is getting us around town, at least for the time being. I didn't see any other you know, pirates out in the sea or anything that we need to be worried about out there so far. So hopefully we'll be okay with our raft until we can upgrade to a boat or something. All right, so here's a lookout tower. Doesn't seem to be anybody here, and it's just a very simple little room with a uh, rather interesting nighttime oil painting. All right, so we have, it says three deer remain when I tried to open this box. So it must be some kind of, um, mm, I guess, mission chest. It opens up after you've completed a task. Let's see what we got in this other box. Aha, well, I got that bow off the wall. It looks like we have arrows. And some other useful things. This albano hide, it looks like I can sell that off. So I guess we'll take that. And we have deer meat. Now I'm guessing that the green bar is food. I haven't eaten anything since I started playing this. And I noticed that that bar keeps going down. So I'm thinking we have to feed ourselves. So it's probably a good thing we pick up that food. And here's something else. We have a hunter's lost charm. So some sort of necklace. It doesn't seem to have any properties that I can tell. But uh, we can sell it away. I don't know if it's wearable or not too. We might actually try to put it on and see if it does anything so it looks very uh eh, it's a little feminine well okay didn't work anyway and what is this another journal composer's journal we don't destroy it necessarily let's see let's try clicking on a different way there we go it's been quite some time now since i've been uh, setting melody or playing a tune i think it may be time to pass on the torch if anyone finds this and wishes to take up the art of song bring it to the uh, nearby inn i will be waiting there the composer okay well we already were kind of mentioned to go check out an inn earlier on so we'll go uh, see if we can find him later all right i'm out here and uh got my bow and arrow let's see if we can take down some of these deer to open that chest and uh, got him twice these dudes are fast, though, and that bow does not do a lot of damage. So, uh, and I'm probably going to run out of arrows here, too. But we'll see if we can uh, we can get this guy. 
Oh gosh, he's fast. He's real fast. He's across the island for me now already. Alright, I caught up on him, and uh, let's see if we can corner him off at the ocean here. We just need one more good shot. Here we go, head him off over this way. There we go, got him. Alright, let's see what we get off kills. Okay, I get our arrows back, which is nice. Four more arrows that we can use. Let's just drop this back in our inventory somewhere. Hopefully this will stack. Okay, it's stacked automatically on the other side. More deer meat. We'll have to eat that at some point. And deer guts can be used for fishing. Oh, cool, there's fishing in this game. All right, we're going to have to try that at some point. I don't have a pole yet that I ha uh, can build, but antlers from a deer. Looks like something we, we just can trade away, possibly. All right, we got another deer here real quick. Let's see if we can hit this guy up real quick. I missed. All right, I've been hunting these deer all night, and I ran out of arrows. I was trying to get them with a sword, which didn't really work very well. So I went ahead and crafted a couple more arrows. And uh, let's see if we can finish this off real quick. Doesn't seem to be any monsters or anything that pop out at nights. So um, you basically are just hunting. I haven't seen any anything that's trying to kill me back. All right, I got all the chests open, and here's what's inside of our um, mission chest. I got this cool hat, and I uh, was able to actually put that on. Still can't put the gloves on, so I guess that's just not a thing. But we have uh, what looks like kind of an epic hat, so it's pretty good. It has like strength on it, um, health regeneration, and uh, there we got something. It looks a little bit better than being totally naked. All right, it looks like the sh um, raft ra washed up on its own. How good we can push it. I was a little worried about being able to get it off this beach, but there's a mechanic in it to, to push your boat back out to sea. So let's go um, sail somewhere else and see what else we find. All right, I just picked another random island out there in the distance to see uh, what else there is in this game. I know there's fishing. I want to try that out of here at some point. But so far, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. All right, this is a map mechanic, it looks like, where you can drop your own different icons into a map. And I imagine there's going to be some tools and stuff so you can chart your own map and then kind of go back to things. Uh, it looks like there's also a way to make journal entries in the map. So if you're in a particular square, you can like write a little entry about what you find there, which I think is kind of fun. I always like that about Minecraft, just being able to kind of chart and make your own map and find out where things are. A little bit of discovery. All right, we actually have some uh, enemies here. Nice. This is the first time I've seen this. But the uh, block and parry mechanics seem pretty obvious. So <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say this is very simplistic fighting here. But it's kind of rem reminiscent of like a turn-based RPG. <laughs> All right, that, that was a little bit silly. The uh, fighting mecha mechanics in this game is not a strong point for sure, but uh, we won. And uh, like I said, if you take it as kind of a turn-based RPG, I think I can forgive the simplicity here. It is uh, sort of early access on this game too, I should say. Um, it looks like this is going to be another one of those situations where we got to defeat all these pirates and then we can open another chest because they have that little uh, mission diamond above their head. Or triangle, I should say, not diamond. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was, a, that was a, a different kind of hit. I guess if you hold down the, uh, the attack button a little longer, you get a second type of strike. So maybe a little stronger. All right, we got that other chest unlocked. Let's see what we get in this one. So this very much seems like a treasure hunt game. What is this here? We got a dark red ink, and I guess we can unlock it, and now we can write in dark red ink in our journal instead of just black. Okay. I haven't really written much in my journal at all so far, but uh, we will have to start keeping one and uh, charting some of the map here too. We need some more tools, though, to be able to do that. I think we need a compass, and we need some way to kind of uh, check our position. All right, here's that chest I was talking about. Let's see, we got to run around to the other side. And... Oh, sweet. It looks like... Okay, more pirate coins, but best of all, it looks like we got some kind of clothing. Uh, armor and string, five and seven. Let's slap on our sweet threads so we're not a uh, naked pirate anymore. And see what we got. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. I got our uh, gray and black, very pirate-looking pirate clothes with our explorer cap. And so that wasn't a bad little run. I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm actually enjoying this game. It's uh, a lot of fun, and I would definitely recommend it. It's uh, about 15 bucks right now on Steam. Uh, well worth it, especially compared to a lot of other games out there. And there's no uh, mechanics in it that uh, require you to do microtransactions, which I'm liking best of all. So uh, thumbs up so far. Let me know if you guys want to see more of Salt, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.